All right, guys. So we're here. This is a uh, edge of my hometown. State Park. I don't remember if I've ever been here. If I have, it's been a very long time. A very, very long time. This is like a old historical museum. I'm assuming it's Caleb Smith's house. <clears throat> Over here, this is a section where kids can fish under 15. Pretty cool. I've just seen a sign for it. It's the only reason I know. I wish they would advertise things like this. Look at that. Look at that big cormorant sitting right in the middle. It's like a two footer at least. Like a big boy. can tell this is going to be very promising. I was drawn to this place, so I uh, kind of was cycling through locations. Kind of waiting for an answer on where it should be, and kind of got a gut instinct when I, this place kind of just popped into my head, and it's kind of like my gut instinct stuck a pin in it. Look at that. The white Zorro mask. It's hard to say what that is for sure, but right next to the tree. Such a great distance. It's probably like uh, 150 yards across this lake at this point. Probably about 250, 300 that way. You know, what I do is kind of stretch out football fields. I try to stack football fields in my mind. All right, I'll be back. Not really sure what, where this is, but. Well, oh, look at that tree over there. Look at that. occasion where I give a location because I have a feeling it's going to be hard to something in here. I don't know if it's a turtle or what I see. Yeah. Oh, look at that frog go. Go, buddy, go. The frog was like dolphin hopping across the top. It's pretty cool. I have a good feeling that this place is going to be very empty on the inside, on the interior. I think a lot of people utilize this, this exterior part. So again, being that we're showing location today and we're in a big state park, I'm going to show you some of the signs that I usually try to avoid and see what they say. A mistaken kindness for wheat. A mistaken kindness. Our food, water, and shelter are provided by Mother Nature. Don't feed the wildlife. <clears throat> Red-eared sliders, painted snappers. That's what I thought I might have saw a minute ago. Oh, look at this butterfly. It's like it, the butterfly almost came by like, hey, they didn't list me. But I'm in here. Hi. Hey. Hey, pretty. You want some sage? Oh, here we go. Look, double crested cormorants. We just saw one of those. Northern Shoveler. I don't see those too often. We're gonna take this. No trash, please. Okay. It's kind of backwards. So 
So again, there's only a few cars in the lot, and there's like three groups of people up here. So, <clears throat> that being said, let me put this away. In my own bag, because there's no garbage. That being said, I do think when we go deeper in, we're going to find isolation. Now, there's some big old swans over here. Looks like they don't have any, any youngsters this year. Just chilling. We're going to go out on this little... Whatever, I don't know what it's called. Peninsula. Man made peninsula. And look at all the. It's not very deep, but you can see how mucky it is. Like, it's. If I finish my thought process before, but oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm eager to get in here. Looks like there's a, a hill that goes up and over. It's definitely a good fishing spot. I see line hanging in the tree because it is a tight, it's a tight, narrow squeeze. bobbers you know everything kind of gets if you tried to fish from out there or fish into that spot because you might want to get along you know if you came even to the edge of this and then kept whipping it out there trying to get it to the edge right those are good spots under those trees there etc right so you don't some things avoid the you know avoid the sun certain fish some things don't some come to the top to get warm other things like this turtle. Some bathing out there. It looks like a little man-made turtle shell for them. <clears throat> Alright. Let's head deeper in. It's really nice water. It's just what lies beneath it. It's such crystal clear quality water but like look at it just how mossy it is and whew, tough stuff tough stuff tough fishing but again it's worth it it's fun there's a lot of stuff hiding under there that you, you can't see a lot of families like they're not gonna go these people ain't gonna go very far I know I don't get very far. And I'm by myself, that's about it. Alright, let's see what we can see. A lot of times we skip over this stuff out front. You know, I'll just kind of go in places if I'm in a place like this. I'll just kind of go straight in and then start. I take my time tuning in, and, but today we just we just got started for the most part together. See, it's beautiful, clear here. See how nice it is when there's just sand and rocks at the bottom. Caution: slippery when wet. I know somebody complained. So we'll do a stop and go. I might turn it off occasionally. Uh, I have a little bit of faith in myself in piecing, I, I, not editing, just not editing, just piecing them together. I have a little bit of faith in that I figured it out somewhat. Somewhat. Now it doesn't seem to work when I have shorts and regular videos 
to put together. It doesn't seem to work out the right way. So I still have to keep that a little separate, but no big deal. Back there where it's open and then the sun meets the shield. It's a beautiful fish. Like the sun shining in that spot. We'll see where this goes and what it does. Look, there's another turtle. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's find out. I can go for the zoom on this thing. If you if you're new here, pro tip: you can uh, if you're on your phone or your tablet, you can zoom in up to eight times. So like if I'm just trying in this area and say you want to see that far, that far area back there. Even if I zoom in times 20, you can still zoom in times 8 from there. Try it now if you want, just pinch your screen and kind of just, you know, do your thing. One sec. I felt like I needed a little lens cleaning. I don't know what that is, but... I thought it was an SD card at first. It might just be a piece of a tackle box. A lot of times tackle boxes have these little slides, and like the plastic ones for kids especially. They have these little like separators. You could take them in or out depending how much tackle you have, how big it is. It separates the hooks and whatnot. Uh, I think that's all that is. Some ducks out here. Amazes me. It's just all these people walk around and just don't have any idea, you know, what might just be right at the edge of the, you know, wood line watching them. Something keeps falling out of this tree just repeatedly. Bloop, bloop, bloop. They're hitting me in the head too. Whatever it is. Hey duckies. How you doing, Mr. Mallard? Mrs. Mallard. Neither one of them have green. It's interesting. Hi. Right. We'll go check this out. Out what this sign says and then we'll we'll go ahead in there looks like a nice little section there occasionally you know i like to give you guys locations if, if i can i don't always like to do it more or less i don't but you know this one is what it is mr quag river Let's just say I use that for some stuff. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna get away from the humans. Damn, there's one diehard right there. Going in. But this is nice, actually. It looks like it's like a paved trail which I don't know how long that's gonna last, but it will definitely, will definitely get us place, you know, where we need to go in and out pretty quickly. Again, I'm checking the signal. It is not strong at all. From, from the front to now, I haven't seen much. I haven't seen much strength out of the out of the uh, signal, whatever it's called. Not Wi-Fi. I guess data. I don't know. Looks like that's a little section there. It's closed off by 
it, you see what I mean? It's like a trail made by wood. It's all laid down and it goes in and I don't really know what it is. But it's definitely made to be a guided section. <clears throat> so pro tip, shout out to Debo. Uh, I believe he's said to hang a left. Because that will be the most... So this is interesting, see, uh, cross-country skiing. Now I remember when I was here, I tried cross-country skiing as a, as a teen. I was part of a uh, class, right, and in, in middle school, you're chaperoned by high schoolers. And then the people in middle school who take that class, in turn, when they get to high school later, years later they get to be part of it and chaperone later and like you're the alumni of it and so i remember one part of the greenbelt trail we broke it down into four parts i'm pretty sure this was one of the one of the areas and uh beautiful look at that this all feeds into and out of the into and out of that pond look how clear that is I could spend all day just to keep turning through that. Connecting to the surroundings. This is definitely a good place to come, you know, when when there's not a lot of people around. Obviously you it seems like you can break away. For some reason, you do the, you just have people going down the same way. It just it could end up. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't seen a map of it, so I just I'm going off inklings, vibes, my friends' info. It's a bird somewhere, it's an odd sounding bird. <clears throat> I don't know what this is, maybe a maintenance shed. Oh, it's a bird of prey for sure. It's just sounding off, it's not hunting just sounding off I don't know why definitely a bird of prey though it's either a peregrine or a hawk I bet you that's for the, the falcons and the hawks right there I bet you that's a man-made thing for them See that crossbar that's a man-made for them, uh, it, it's just a guess, but probably so they can hunt the field mice. It's beneficial to everybody because if you have, um, you know, up here, if you have like you know, structure in the woods or whatever, like a bunch of mice will come in and all sorts of rodents, you know, possums and raccoons. So, why not, right? If you can appeal to the bird of prey, oh, hi, girl. Boom, there's one up here too, but that's the baby. Hi! I bet nobody saw you. Almost right next to me. Yeah, 
You're okay. You're okay. Hazardous, do not enter. See you later. Probably get back tonight. It's because we've had success so far at making it a constant video up to 20 minutes. So at, at the worst, I can. Uh, wow. I mean, that is one hell of a tree. If I can help size the scale, that doesn't do anything. There's nothing. Um, it's huge. Sure, there's sort of, you know, everybody follows, goes and wants to follow that paved trail. It's very inviting, right? But <clears throat> just the creek bends there. It comes in and around. They got like a little birdhouse up in there. Back on some of the sun is just the canopy is beneficial, right? But it's still beaming through quite a bit. Could definitely tell what, right? Do, 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 right down here. What is it? That's the question. Spider. Oh, you're not a right spider. Look at the size of that. Now, what is that? Let's see. That is a human. Human. Fortunately. I'm going to have to come back and spend time in this water, I think. Some spots, just like this one, are very... Uh, very inviting. Yeah, that's gotta be a human. I wonder why somebody would want to get across there. I mean, other than me, why would anybody want to get back in this crowd? They could have waders, and they might know a good way to get to a fishing spot from there. It kind of looks like a big rubber boot almost. Huh. Interesting. I'm not going to read all this, but if anybody chooses to. I just want to show you the zoom mic. You guys haven't experienced it yet.
This is e erosion control, not a trail. Skiers, okay. So let's see, let's double back and see what's what. It's not gonna make a difference. We just we're just placing ourselves in nature, just to place ourselves in nature. Do we have to go way out here? Did tonight? No. I love it, right? A lot of us do. We're gonna go advanced and see how it goes. I'm assuming it goes uphill a lot, that's what I'm guessing. We got a signal here. A little bit. A little bit. We could always do a stream. I could sit back, you know, sit here with you guys on the way back. We'll see how it goes. It's a nice little bench for sure. You notice that up there, right? We got this tree over here, and it could have fell and knocked everything down, right? Broke that tree up there, and then the other one, and then knocked this one down somehow, and made it connect to that one, and knocked that one down, right? One tree knocked the rest down, and they all connected at one point, at the same point, right? But, is it possible? I don't know. I'm not going to do the math right now, because it's not that important, but. Just kind of showing you what I look at. You always see this too. We see this everywhere. I don't know why they do this with these trees. I know this is the forest people though. Because they rip them out like crazy. That one's cut off clear. This is cut off. I don't know why. Something's placed there. What is that? It's kind of interesting that there's just one little piece of plastic sitting there. See how they're, see how the forest people are grooming that one? They're grooming that bend. They don't, it's without force. So my opinion is they don't need it yet. Or whatever, they held it down. You see the leaner laying on it? That's a whole nother tree from somewhere else. It's upside down. So like the bottom isn't even, on the bottom, right? The bottom's at the top, and the top is poked in the ground, and it's leaning on there, holding that. A couple of you guys said last time, like, holy shit, how'd you see that? Like, it's just grooming, right? Like, start to look at things a certain way, and you'll see it that way. Or you'll be able to see it. Obviously, you live in two different worlds. You have to, you have no choice but to toggle the line back and forth 
Like, it's, it's hard when you have to dumb yourself down, you know, in society. I have to do it regularly. I have to dumb myself down. Some people don't know how to do that. Some people are just extravagant all the time and can't stop talking about it. And they're, you know, whatever it is, uh, whatever kind of path of enlightenment they're on. Um, I know it's the way I do it. Just kind of fit in where I can. Here they come. It's a chopper. I could hear them from so far away. It might take a minute. Oh, something just took off right here. Where the hell is it? Sounded like something just ran. <laughs> like something, it almost sounded like a deer was standing next to me and it just was like, <laughs> you know when a deer just takes off running? Buzzing around up there. I'm so used to them coming right over my head that I just expected it to. Alright, so. I don't know what this is. Left and right. Then there's another one over here. These are nice wide trails. I'm gonna do what I think it takes to go deeper in. Now there's a plane and a chopper, so it's kinda throwing my, but it's a big plane, it'll pass. It's going pretty deep in some areas. signal again yeah it's not it's not strong I could try a stream but I have a feeling if we try to if we try to get signal that way it's just not gonna work out there's a lot of birds in here it's very hard to be quiet on these rocks you see all the horse flies can you see like I just keep getting attacked The bug spray works, but not for those. They just don't care about anything. Wow, some big birds. I don't know what they were. They're fast as hell, whatever they are. Well, these are the good opportunities when I'm when we're just walking and I'm that's a these are good opportunities to zoom in use your zoom you know what I mean that's it where to go that's a Bigfoot highway right there you see it whatever you want to call it right there Go all the way in the back, that's interesting. Well, 
lot of energy at the end of it. At least at the end of my edge of my eyesight, right? There's another one. Huh. Alright, cool. It's a couple side by side. See any more? Very dense. We'll come back one day and head off trail and see what that was. It's gonna be hard to make it out on camera. Let's see. Try and line it up. There we go. Ping. See it? Do you see what I see? Try and go back and forth a little up and down. Get different angles for you. I have people occasionally say, well, well, if that was a Bigfoot, if that really was, well, why didn't you go in there? Why didn't you video it longer? You want people staring in your freaking windows? How long are you going to tolerate that shit? How long are you going to tolerate it? A second? Two seconds? Three? Five? I doubt it. Lots of bends, bend and tucks, or arches. Can't point Sasquatch. I like the, I like that word for it. Arches. It's not it's not a bad way to put it. Um, because there are some that are just arched, and then there's others that are actually bend and tucked. So I, I, I should probably say arches when it's not, when they're not stuck under something. Something kicked this way up. Look at that. Oh shit. And there's bees in it. There's a yellow jacket in it, so we're not gonna bother it. It actually has an X. The roots make an X. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. There's a couple of bees that don't seem too thrilled with me. That? Or that? Both. Okay, this is a special spot. Let's soak it up for a second, because when they connect directly, I don't, oh, okay, look at all this cut wood. Something was destroyed. So it looks like, they didn't mess with that one back there. I'll, I'll get up there and show it to you. Look at this, this was probably something amazing. This was something so intricate, I guarantee it. Look at all the chopped pieces. on that side too look that one was down right we've seen i just showed you a couple of those back there those trees those bald i don't know what they are but sasquatch always rips them right out of the ground you can even see look how much action comes through here a lot of deer 
a lot of everything. You see that? There's a oh dear scat. There's an arch right there. I'll show it to you. It's just there's a couple of arches with, and it's being held down. It's not a huge structure, but these are the ones. Those big ones are the ones they knock down, and then these are the ones that they miss, or they'll leave. You know, the, because they either they don't see them, or it's far enough off trail where they don't care because it's out of sight, out of mind. But look at this, right? You got that. So you got that connecting all the way to that. Okay. Then that goes out. Those go over this way. Do 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 do. Come here. This is holding down that one and that one. So it's literally it, that's all the way over there. It's not like this came. Well, first of all, it came out of nowhere. Let's just say it was born there and it fell. It wouldn't have taken that down. See what I mean? It's holding them both down. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff right off trail that you could you can find very easily. A lot of people keep on asking. I feel like I talk about it all the time and I try to do it so people can benefit from it. It's for energy purposes. They're energy-based beings. So they they keep nature connected through the trees, just like it's wiring in your house going to an outlet and you plug something into it to charge up, right? People with electric cars, same concept, charging stations. We were literally calling it before, I think we were calling it that before charging stations even existed, which is kind of funny, but get my drift. Just so many people out there like, oh, they do it there. It's a language. It's like, oh. Glyphs are a language. Glyphs. It's a language because they're basically letters, right? They're either letters or words. They're, they're, A lot of spider webs off trails, so I'm gonna be cautious. But again, look at all the cut wood. This is definitely a special place, so. Um, it's a lot of something big back there, making movements. Almost like very quickly jumping through. I'm not quite sure they want me to see them. I think I might just be working my peripheral. So when I look straight on, I don't, I'm not seeing it. So I'm assuming, what is that back there? What's like on those trees? Oh, never mind. When you're in the sun, it is hot, really hot. So again, just look. I mean, just just use your use your eyes because it doesn't have to be huge. You're not going to see the big stuff because you see what I mean. Like somebody is coming through and making it disappear. Just pay attention. Cut, 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 cut. All these big things that were here are cut, but they will come back and do subtle things. Now watch it. Ready? Snap. Goes across. Huge bend. Goes and tucks under the log. This goes back into it. That's bending backwards. You want more? Look at the look at how hard this thing is bent. Bang. 
Again, that bald type of tree, whatever it is, ripped out of the ground. <laughs> Why? That I don't know. But it's just ripped out and used as a leaner to hold that down. And I'm real. But look at how hard that thing is bent and then tucked under. Mind you, you will find this everywhere. Everywhere. I have people all the time tell me, I don't have structures by me. You do. You do. They're just doing this to them. Same thing they're doing here. Now, there's some places you can go, you know, way off the map. But, whatever. New York has enough staff, I guess, to do this. Maybe other states don't. But there's plenty of people here willing to do this kind of shit, I suppose. You know, we have a lot of volunteer trail stewards, too, like, that will just, I'm sure, that just don't know what they're doing and just cut. They're just cutting wood. In their mind, they're getting it off the trail. They're getting rid of it. But I wonder how they get them to cut the stuff that's off the trail like that. Like, who does that? The state and county parks, they all usually close. Some close at sun sunset, right? Some close at like five or six, so I'm assuming those places, kind of places somebody does it. You know, maybe every evening or every morning. I'd imagine every morning because a lot of this stuff goes down under the cover of darkness. I think, I think I'm, I'm on a double back. I'm not really sure. Ah, these, all right, hang on. I really don't think I have bug spray. I don't know if I have bug spray on me. I thought I had enough on. But once I start to sweat, it changes because I guess maybe when I sweat, it gets, it comes off of me. Not quite sure. All right, we're gonna go back. Cause I have no idea where that goes to. I hear a dog. You know what, let's just go up to the bend and see. At least go up here and see. Rick straight out. Ripped, ripped. They're all going to be out. I'm surprised they're attached at all. I can hear a dog. I'm not sure where it's coming from. There is a... Oh, shit. Sorry, girl. Oh, you're a young one. It's like the mothers know me, look. It's like... She didn't run. The babies will. Hi! Hey. Hey, does aircraft come? I don't know what they want, but... Look how, look how pretty she is, look. It might be a boy, look. You're a little boy? Yeah, I think that's a little boy. You guys? They call me the deer whisperer. Everybody jokes about it. Yeah, they're not gonna run either. Jeez. It's interesting, huh? So that one's feeding, like, they just don't mind that I'm here. Hi, are you? Yeah, she went back to feeding now, too. She watched me, you know, get a, get a good distance.
As close as I was to them, their instinct is to run, and they don't. It's a hefty game trail. Alright, let's see what this is. This looks like it keeps going. Problem is I'm starting to hear the highway a little bit, so I'm gonna stop going that way. I don't wanna keep going that way. But, shit, all right, so this is parking area this way, which means if I go down this way, that it doesn't go there at all. So the only way out is to go back the way we came. I guess. I really don't know. I really don't know. Alright. Maybe I should pull up. I don't want to pull up a map though. I want to keep on. I've done it up to this point. I want to keep on just feeling my way through a little bit and just seeing what this place has to offer. Again, these horse flies are out of control. Why'd they cut that one? Why that one? Now, what was that? What was that tree doing to bother anybody? Nothing. They broke the connection. This one was connecting. It was all interlocking into something. Bullshit. Here, over here. Over here. This one, that one, see? I ain't doing nobody no harm. I wasn't gonna like this, it wasn't even on the trail. It wasn't bothering nobody. This is a good area in here, look at this. Right into my head, thanks buddy. All right, we got almost an hour of video. I can't believe it. I didn't think we were, I didn't think I filmed for that long. All right, check the signal one more time. It's strong here. It's strong in this spot. Let me check for bug spray real quick. I'll be right back. Man, to you guys, it'll feel like this. There's been a lot of damage done in here by humans. Um, this was a very special spot. Shout out to Gemma Jade for the sage. I'm going to go off a little bit. I just want to show you some of the stuff that was right here that was just chopped to shit. Just because. Just because. And it just gets a little upsetting. Mind you guys, there's a, we can hear the highway. It's <clears throat> just because we slap roads in the way doesn't change anything. Just because we populate areas doesn't change anything. Look at this huge bend. And it's tucked under that little... Same concept out here. Alright, big tree. Just snap that one down. Look at this setup back here. Look at all these snaps and stuff. That huge bend over there. We're gonna get into this one quite a bit. All for connection. This is where they are. They maybe not at this moment, but they will be here. Some point of the day, they come here and spend a lot of time. This is a nice big area right here. Can you see it all? You see those little areas, those right there? They're bent. 
they're broke and they come back down and tuck under the tree. Every bit of this place is connected. Every last bit. Look at that huge bend right there. Watch, this is a, this is a ground. I didn't want to step on that. I'm going to go back around. Spider webs. Hello, my friends. I'm just here teaching. Teaching your teachings. Thank you for teaching me. Look. Look familiar? Now go up. Go up. See what beams down right into here? Look. See it? Tracking. Hi! You hear that? Sounds like a 500 pound bee. Another one broke up there. Come straight down. Look at this reverse bend back into it. Connects it. This goes off. Connects it. See what I'm saying? That goes off. Connects. Big boys walking through here. See what I'm saying? We'll take a quick look at it from the back side too. I'm just staying on the outskirts right now. We're going to actually gift this sage here. Because we did slightly interrupt. So what I haven't used yet, I'm going to just leave here for them. Lean in. Lean in and put it there for them. I'm going to come around this part. A lot of spider webs. That's the difference with being physical and non-physical. I have to deal with that. See that? Even that bent and tucked in. This side's been very broken up, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is where it all filters into. is probably right here. And it's a bed, for the most part. Or where they sit, you know. In essence, it's what, it's what it is. I'm going to give you an idea. Either a rock toss or a rock clack back that way. Way too big for them. If you look at these there, there's your A on the ground. Branches off, ground connect. <clears throat> You want to be careful where you step. If you do go check out these kinds of things up close, just, you know, be uh, cautious, respectful. If you have a gift, leave it, I suggest. Um, you know, show respect and play it by ear. Somebody thinks the weather did that, like... To go see a doctor. So again, those that's the kind of thing right there. That that whole setup right there that I was just showing you is the type of things that we see right here on the trail, right off the trail, right next to the trail, that get destroyed. There are some angry dogs somewhere back there. That person's dogs have been barking non-stop. Vehicles. Look at this. Vehicle tracks in here. Oh, shit. That's why it's probably wide enough in here. So they could just come through and just 
tear it up, take it out. What are these tracks? So there is a place I was thinking about camping. It's uh, the site of a UFO crash. Um, very, very special place. It's got specific hours. And you can't really get in there early or, you know, there's not much I can do about it. So I was thinking if I camp inside of there. Anyway, there's a lot of things coming up and I'm going to, I could really use some help if you guys are interested. It's a lot of like adventures I want to get into. Um, if anybody would like to contribute, what I'll, what I'll do is, um, maybe we'll set up like a, I don't know, or specifically say that's what it's for, you want to contribute to, and I'll tell you about the ones I have in mind, and then maybe we'll, you know, we'll hone in on some together, I'm going to double back, and then uh, if, the, you know, people do contribute, I'm going to try and make a little mini docs, and um, what I want to do is try and get somebody to help me out. And hopefully I would like to compensate them for their time, um, if possible. So, a lot of this stuff is going to, I can get, I can make it better. Um, and if you'd like to help, that would be great. What I was getting at is if, you know, if we do do things like that. Um, we'll like give credit to the to the donors in the in the mini docs when it's made. Um, you know we'll have credits basically and say, you know, thank you to the contributors, so and so and so and so and so and so. That's if you want to be listed. Obviously, it's just one way I was thinking about kind of giving back some, some extra things so. all right we're gonna double back and I'm debating if I should cut this off because I know when the premiere is on and it ends everybody gets so upset like ah oh, man like I wanted more but I don't know what to do because it's it's almost it's almost noon I can't believe that it's almost noon um, damn, so, I got a late start today, so it would be a good time to do a live stream, because it's 9 on the west coast, you know what I mean, right, it's kind of prime time, mind you, I, I do feel bad, for, like, because I, I try not to, because a lot of times Sunday is, like, holidays, and then, you know, or it's, uh, you know, a religious day for a lot of people, so I always try not to step on any toes during the day, but I'm not really sure what else to do, because night seems not to work out either. <clears throat> Let me check the signal. I gotta kind of go check these. Oh, that's good signal. I need to check these messages anyway. Yeah. All right, the signal is good, guys. So I am gonna switch over and hope that this that this works out. All right. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, there's the deer back there again. They moved in a little bit. That's the baby. Oh, look, he's got a good bend. I don't know if he's playing or he's playing or what. There you are. 
Oh no, that's two babies. That's cool. I don't see the mother at all. She's probably ahead somewhere. Oops, I'm way zoomed in, sorry. All right, guys. So as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all very much. Uh, we'll talk more soon, obviously, right? We always do. You'll see me soon. Insert maniacal laugh. Whoa. Whatever it is. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, it's another one. That can't, that can't be mom way out there. She's looking at me already. Already she sees me. Trump, Trump, Trump. Alright. Later guys, be good.